Hey guys, it's Empress Shay Shay. How you evening going? Um, you guys would have been laughing, man. I was trying to tape today as Spirit was giving me the messages and I was at work. I was taping all over the place. I had to laugh myself. But, any <laughs> but anywho, um, I have a message called Cutting Off Things That Don't Serve Us or Serve Me or Serve You, however you want to say it. Um, I have yet to know how I'm going to actually put the title on there when I'm finished right now. But the message I had gotten today that Spirit had gave me was cut people out. Cut the shit out that don't serve you. Reason being, you are blocking all your blessings. A lot of times we think that, okay, let me try to help this person. But a lot of people got to help themselves. You know, I'm an empath, so I feel as if I can save everybody. Sometimes we can't. Sometimes the lesson is for them to learn on their own, as bad as it may be, especially with our kids, you know. But thank you guys for like, sharing, and subscribing. Okay, um, I try to change up my little scenery, but I don't know, I may have to change it again. <laughs> but anywho, okay. And again, this is cutting off shit that don't serve you. People, place, or thing. Okay, this is the message. May I release all negative energies that is more than less than love. Please free my mind, body, and soul of all of that no longer serves me or my purpose in life. I return to sender. Okay? I return to sender. Just listen. You're returning back all negative energies in light and love. And I ground myself in the present, the here and now, in the moment. Okay? A lot of people don't think that dark magic and magic is real. Okay? I never thought about it before I got into my calling, okay? That is absolutely real, and we have to be aware of that. And you can just say something as simple as return to sender, okay? I release fear. Fear is not of God, okay? I release pain. I release uncertain, uncertainty on my life. I am magical because everyone has magic in them. You just have to believe. I am free-spirited and I trust my life's divine purpose. Okay? These are the things that you should say to yourself. Since I released, or I should say since God, Holy Divine Spirit, Release all the negativity and the toxicity out of my life. I feel 100% better. You can think clearly and you know what your next move is going to be. Okay? When you have negative negativity and toxicity around you, you can't think. Your mind is clogged. You don't know what your next move is going to be. Okay? If a lot of my cards, like in the monology, to say you have to devise a plan, you have to have a divine plan, divine order. How is there divine a divine plan in place? How can you get that in place with toxicity? How can you get a divine order if you have toxicity and bad energy around you? How are you gonna know you have these things around you? You're gonna pray. And I mean, all we have to use is our common sense. It's not trying to, you know, be funny or, you know, disrespect anybody. But toxicity is easy to point out, okay? When you hang around toxic people, trust me, eventually, ooh, man, I dropped something. Eventually, you're going to see their toxicity, okay? You're going to see they drink every day. They smoke every day. They say that they're into the Lord, but you're going to see different, Okay? Um, maybe you're around someone that fights or maybe you're in a relationship where y'all argue a lot. All that's toxicity. Okay? I'm not telling you to go get rid of your husband or your relationship. I'm just saying acknowledge so you can change. You cannot change without acknowledging anything. Okay? And that's what Spirit is saying. 
Okay? And the hardest thing to do is to acknowledge. Okay? I remember someone told me in my family years ago, if you want to lose weight, Shay Shay, just take off your clothes and look in the mirror. I thought that was so cruel at the time. <laughs> but you know what? That's true. Because once you acknowledge, then that therefore change will come. Okay? Hell yeah, it hurts to acknowledge. Hell yeah. It hurts like hell to acknowledge your wrongs or acknowledge like, damn. I remember when I was 400 pounds, like, God dang, how did I get this way? You know, you don't realize. You get wrapped up in your everyday life. And I know that sounds crazy. How you not know? That's real. You know, that's why we shouldn't laugh at people that's overweight or people that's going through things because overweight is a disease to your mental. Okay, that means, okay, something's going on mentally. It's, this is not funny. We all in it together. You know, and I'm telling you, acknowledgement, being held accountable, is the first two steps to changing anything in your life. Okay, it's going to hurt. Some people you get used to being around, you think, oh, they're my friends. They're not your friends. Take a really deep look at what you're dealing with. Would your friend, would you be afraid to tell your friend something personal, scared they're going to tell somebody else? Someone once told me, well, if you don't think I'm a, if you think I'm going to tell somebody, don't tell me. You just answer my goddamn question. You're going to tell so therefore, don't tell me nothing because you know I'm going to tell. That's not a fucking friend. Excuse my expression. That's not a friend. You know, when someone is going through something that's really horrible or going through something where they feel like they can't even talk to a pastor or talk to a professional psychiatrist, and then they come to you, you may be that person's last resort. I have said it before in one of my other videos. And then you go talk about this person. That person can take their own life, God forbid, or, you know, or get in a depression mode they can't come out of. I spoke to someone yesterday and they were like, well, I just rather keep my business to myself because people always want to laugh at you. That's not funny. Again, I've said this in another video. Today is my turn. Tomorrow is yours. Okay? We can't laugh at people. Okay, so I'm just letting you guys know I'm not trying to dictate your life. I'm just telling you what Spirit is telling me to put out here. Okay, this is how I am living my life. I'm trying to rectify all the wrongs that I have actually done. I'm trying to not say just rectify them. I'm trying to acknowledge and make changes in my life to better myself. Okay, and better myself through Christ, through spirit, through whole divine spirit, because that's where your abundance is going to come from. A lot of people don't understand that love, open up your heart chakra, and actually loving is what's going to bring you financial abundance. Okay? Once you have true love, everything under that falls, everything falls underneath that. God will bless you with everything. You don't have to ask. Everybody I've ever seen that say they're going looking for money has never found it. Or get into relationships because of finances. They have never found it. I wouldn't want to be in a relationship because the person has money. Because to me, the person I am today without love, there is nothing else. I'm sorry. I know people that have went to their grave or going to their grave right to this day that would never know what true love is feels like or looks like and that's sad and I'm not going to kid y'all going to go to bed I was like oh I'm so tired but you know what spirit say no sure no shay shay get up go tell your story and no matter how tired I am that's what I'm going to do maybe you guys heard this 50 times okay fine but you haven't heard it from Emperor Shay Shay and I hope this message helps someone. And I love you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.